Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Um, just to start us off, uh, tonight's draw helped extend the unbeaten streak to seven games. Can you talk a little bit of the importance of the result? Uh, yeah, I mean, really good energy in the locker room right now. I feel the players, uh, like they accomplished something. Uh, in that second half and showed some grit and determination to uh, come back and get that goal and obviously almost pulling it back and, uh, and winning the game again, uh, which they're, they were uh, they were feeling after the game. So, uh, yeah, it was a, a really good second half and uh, they're, they're in a really good place right now. Thank you. We'll open up to questions. Uh, Sam, go ahead. Thanks, Coach. Uh, congratulations on the results. Thanks, um, I'd love to just kind of hear just an update. Do you have any you know, the status of the Christian Paredes about in the first half? Um, yeah, just any update you have right now? Yeah, nothing yet. They're, he's being evaluated, and I think we caught it early, so um, hopefully be in good shape with that. Thanks. Um, Felipe was in here earlier talking specifically about how things the team needs a little more concentration with holding leads and kind of kind of maintaining control of the games. Uh, do you kind of see that as kind of the main issue, or what are kind of the main keys that you see to kind of this team kind of you know taking the lead and kind of holding it and kind of holding that control of the game? Yeah, I mean we t we we talked about it. We've. Uh... We've talked about it a few times. Uh, it was unfortunate with the deflection on the one goal, uh, and then obviously two set pieces. So, from the run of play, we're not, uh, you know, giving up as many chances now. Um, but yeah, we we need to uh, have have uh, more concentration when when the game is uh, when the game is stopped, and then they restart it. Because um, on the restarts right now, we're just we for whatever reason. Um, not staying with players or the zonal guys aren't picking up and uh, so set pieces uh, will be something that we're going to focus on and uh, it's just clear you know uh, that we, that's just something that we're going to we're going to work on and we've continued to work on it we've gotten uh, what we felt better the last few, few games on them and uh, tonight we just had a you know a couple you know bat and it's credit to LA they're they're very good uh, Zavaleta is very good at set pieces. Thanks. And just one last follow up. Uh, Felipe Mora has been in really strong form recently, kind of leading the line. Um, kind of what have you seen kind of his game and kind of how it's really contributing to kind of this rich run kind of up that, that you've had over this past month? Yeah, I mean, Felipe is in great form. There's no question. Um, it's been, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's back to, you know, uh, his, the way he plays, uh, his normal form. Called in the national team, and he's going to help them. And uh, it's you, you can see what he's doing on, on the field and the leadership he has for us, and the way he's leading us forward with scoring and positioning and drawing fouls and uh, creating chances. So, you know, Felipe is back. Thank you. We'll go next to Jeremy. Hi, Coach. Um, I'm just wondering about. Um, the inverted fullbacks. I noticed uh, Juan Mascara tucking inside a bit, and I noticed the same for Claudio Bravo. And I'm wondering, is that a strategy you're planning on uh, going forward, or is it just something you were thinking about just for this game? Uh, we've been doing it uh, in most of the games uh, in the build. Uh, you know, so now it's something that they're kind of latching on to. I mean, obviously it's opponent based to overload the midfield, but. Um, they, they're really starting to latch onto it and do a, do a great job and it draws the, uh, you know, it'll draw the, you know, the winger defending in a little bit so we can slide the ball to, you know, our, our outside wide players a little bit easier. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll still uh, change that around, and it's, but it's just another element that we're, we're using. Thanks, Coach. And just one more question about Sebastian Blanco. Uh, when he came in, I think that was the point where the the Timbers really started to uh, retake control of the match. Um, how do you think? Uh, do you think that's going to be the use for him going forward, or is could he still be in line to make a couple starts with uh, two games remaining? 
Yeah, I think we go game to game with that. Uh, he came in and did a fantastic job tonight. Um, he, he sat down and we went to more of a 4-2-4 when he came in, and uh, they, they had a they had real, a lot of trouble uh, building out against that um, because of the two strikers that were um, you know sinking back and our wingers were staying a little bit higher defending to not allow those uh, passes out to their wingers. And the two strikers were sitting in front of their, their number sixes. Uh, and so that helped open up the game and to put pressure on them uh, for us, and which, which was uh, clearly uh, in that moment uh, what we needed, and the guys did such a great job, such a great job. All right, we'll wrap it there. Thank you, Miles. Safe flight home. Thank you.